everybody, it's Gail from thehappystamper.com. I've got a card for you today that is a fall card. I'm also doing a technique called the marble background technique. I haven't done it in forever, but I thought it would be really fun to do for this card. Something different. But I am using my favorite stamp set again. This is Colorful Seasons. Love, love, love it. Something for every season. And then I am also using my layering oval framelits. And here is the number for those. So that's the stamp set and dies I'm using. I'm using this pretty fall kind of a maple leaf here and that's going to be my focal image. So let's start with um, my cardstock. I have got a, this was an eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock that was cut at five and a half and then I have scored it and I'm going to fold it like so and that's what's called a standard A2 envelope. My next piece is going to be five and a quarter. My layering piece here is going to be five and a quarter by four inches. Why does that not look right to me? Nope, it's right. Yep, see? Gives it just a nice little border. Okay, so that's going to be my background image, my focal image. And then I am also going to take just a scratch piece of paper and we're going to stamp our image. But first, I forgot to show you, this is the card I'm gonna show you how to make. See the cool background? This is what marbling does. It makes the coolest effect, and I think it's so fun because you can change it up for any holiday just based on your colors. I'm using crushed curry for my ink, and I am going to stamp my leaf. And I think this leaf is so, so pretty. So pretty. I'm, I'm looking forward to fall. I don't know about you guys, but I love football. I love my fireplace. I love sweaters and warm clothes, things like that. I do love summer too. I do, but I'm kind of ready for fall. I want to get my decorations out and get the house, you know, changed over. Okay, I'm going to, well, you can't really see it. Let me try it a little bit more and see if I can get this on here. A little bit of yellow in the lid and my aqua painter. I'm going to get this going just a skosh. I've been enjoying this as well. And I'm just going to very messily, is that a, a word, messily? <laughs> Color in my leaf and trying not to be too, too perfect, but it looks so cool and pretty when it is dry. It really is lovely. I love watercolor. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a paper towel handy too so you can clean that off. That's gonna be it for our stamping. I'm gonna bring my Big Shot in and then we're gonna get down to the fun. I've got a scrap piece of garden green here already on my platform. My platform is my magnetic platform for when you're using our Thinlit dies. You're going to use a clear uh, board. I've got my cardstock. I'm using the scalloped piece here, as you can see, my scalloped. And then I'm going to add my leaf. And I have to look at this this way. Because otherwise, I don't know why I stamped it kind of wonky again. But that's okay. I think I'm going to keep it like that too. I kind of like it a little bit wonky. This one I did kind of straight up and down. I think I'm gonna do this one a little bit on an angle. I like that. And then you're simply, oops, it moved, it moved, woo woo. Hold down, hold the phone. There we go. We're gonna simply crank this through 
and get both pieces cut at one time. And it is as simple as that. Love it. Love my Big Shot. Use it all the time. All right. So we've got that piece already. And then we've got our Garden Green already. Okay. And this is the magnetic platform. We've got a new platform that just came out with the new catalog. And it has... Uh, what do I do with my pop tops? There they are. I'm always losing these darn things. We have a new catalog that has the new platform in it. Our old one used to have a tab and you had to flip it. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. Stampin' Up! took care of that. And now all you have to do is just take that tab one, so to speak, off. So really easy. All right, I'm just going to adhere the two pieces together like so. Cute. All right, let's set that aside and get down to the fun. You're going to need a clear box or a box of sorts, something with a lid. This is an old Stamping Up wood case mount, but you could use the clear plastic ones that we used to have, or you could use our current wood case mounts. But um, you're going to need some marbles as well. I've got six in here, and I've got some reinkers. I have crushed curry, and I've also got garden green. So you're going to want to just put a few dots of color in here, and this is my yellow. And I'm going to do a little more yellow than green. And then I'll do a few of the garden green. I've tried doing more colors, and if you do three just seems to push it because you end up with brown and we don't want brown that might be good for some certain uh ah, and i've got it on my fingers so you're going to get messy here folks and then you're just going to turn it over get your marbles all gussied up and then you're just going to roll get them inked up roll it over a little bit I just realized these are our high school colors. They were green and gold. Oh yeah. And then you're just going to roll it around like this, you guys. It's that simple. And you could change this totally up, get different looks for different holidays. You could do oranges. Lots of cool, cool colors. All right, so let's take this out and whoop, reach in for my paper towel how cool that is. Isn't that so fun? I love it. I'm just going to blot it. It's dry. Our Whisper White cardstock is really great for this, so don't worry about that. But look how cool that is. Isn't that so fun? I think that's awesome. Awesome sauce. All right, I am going to be adhering some of our, and pardon me for reaching, this is our, um, burlap ribbon. Ah, I know that. I know that. All right. So I'm just going to take a piece of our burlap. I'm using tape on the back just to secure it a bit. I'm going to just tie a little knot. So as I was saying, I don't think you really want to go with three colors because it tends to make it brown. Um, so I think two is good. One looks really pretty. But I think that's super fun. Super duper fun. And then I am just going to tie this. Let me cut this a bit first. So I can tie this into just a loose knot. And I'm going to cut those on an angle, like so. I'm curling here. I'm curling, folks. That's all right. I'll stretch it out a bit. And I'm going to take my tape runner and I'm going to adhere this to my front panel. But this would be really pretty too if it was done in, oh my goodness, reds and greens would be pretty. Black would be really pretty. 
with all the holidays coming and fall, I think it's just beautiful. Isn't that so fun? I love it. And then I'm going to adhere this to the front. Uh, let's do that. Bada boom, bada bing. Are you guys loving all the new holiday stuff that you're seeing from everyone? I can't wait to place my order. I'm so excited. But I just got a bunch of cute stuff in, so I'm kind of trying to pace myself. I've got our little candy dots. This is, I believe this is the neutrals set. But this green is really close to the garden green. So that's what I'm going with here. And I'm going to add one more to the top. Isn't that so fun, you guys? I think that's such a cool technique. I love it. So here you have this card that I did. This one's a little bit darker. I probably added a little bit more green, but I think that's super fun, you guys. So give the marble technique a try. I hope you like this video. Thanks for visiting with the Happy Stamper today. And make sure to check back. I'll have more videos for you this week. And as always, you guys, big hugs from me to you. And um, yeah, that's it. So have a great day. Bye.